prior to coming to the MBA, I'd been in the military for around 10 years. Um, and I had worked as a doctor for seven of that, those years. Um, I got to the point in my career where I'd done a lot of the jobs which I consider the most interesting in the military. There wasn't really very much left that I felt was going to challenge me. Um, and at that point, I started thinking about ways in which I could diversify my career. London Business School is very real. Uh, the people are very normal, which is actually can be unusual at some business schools. Um, everybody here is very willing to lend a hand. Um, there's a lot of good alumni. There's a lot of good people in the years above and the year below uh, that are willing to help out. Um, and everything just seems to be very, I suppose, collegiate. Um, and that's something which I've obviously taken with me from the military. I think as long as you're organised and you realise you'll make money in the summer through your internship, you'll get some money from things like the second year project. There is a small scope to do additional work in the second year perhaps if your internship converts into a part-time offer. So there's always ways to get income, um, but I, I wouldn't worry about it, I'd just make people aware of the fact that they do need to budget quite carefully. Um, I know working out my own finances that I should have paid off the MBA as it were a couple of years out. Uh, and then beyond that, my salary projections are much, much higher than they ever would have been in the military. I think, obviously, the, the MBA here is very different uh, in that a lot of the focus is on this kind of group learning. Um, and I think in every single subject, including the electives I'm doing this year, there's a lot of emphasis on group learning. Um, I found myself in the first year stuck in a group of you know, six people with completely different backgrounds to mine from different countries and across the world, um, none of which had been in the military. So the ability to work in uh, uncertain circumstances with people you've never met before, um, the ability to be a leader but also a follower when needs be, um, and also I think just a general understanding of how people interact together, um, meeting deadlines, you know, le leading people towards those deadlines if they need to. There's a lot of military alumni in London. There's lots of ways to tap into that sort of network. Uh, equally, if you don't wish to, then you don't have to because there's lots of other people that are non-military. Um, but I think you can keep as much or as little of the military in your life as you want to going forward. I actually had two internships this summer, both of which were through the regular career services program. Um, I know there's you know, lots of people follow different models. Uh, I felt that career services was there, it's structured, it's set up, um, it's there for the students, they have good relationships. So I felt it was a fairly easy process once I'd gone into it. With London Business School, the diversity is a, is a re, really key selling feature. Um, there is no other school within the, the same league that has the diversity of people here. I knew that I would be one of 10% British people, um, which actually interested me because I wanted to know who the other 90% were going to be. I think a two-year program definitely gives you the chance to know a lot more about yourself. Um, it gives you an ability to have a choice in terms of what jobs you might want to do. Um, I think it gives you the chance to explore lots of different courses, elective modules, etc., which you possibly can't do with a one-year program. Um, and it just gives you that space and ability to really think about why you're here and exactly what you want to do afterwards.